Hello, my name is Namsun. I'm a postdoc from Lund University in Sweden. My poster is about the sintering mechanism of coarse nanoparticles. Sintering of nanoparticles is important because how the shape and the structure of nanoparticle change due to sintering has huge impact on the performance of the functional nanoparticles in given applications. Sintering mechanisms of pure crystalline metal nanoparticles had been investigated previously, but there was no study on particles that have crystalline metal core with amorphous metal oxide shell. And because these metal metal oxide core shell system itself is gathering much attention as a functional nanoparticle, we studied their sintering behavior by using molecular dynamics. So we prepared three different types of metal metal oxide core shell nanoparticles which exhibit crystalline core and amorphous metal oxide shell after equilibrium at given temperatures. Then we let the nanoparticles merge and coalesce together and studied how the atoms diffuse during the sintering process. Here it shows how two nickel nickel oxide core shell nanoparticles coalesce over a period of time and for the other two types of nanoparticles as well a common feature we observed in all three types of nanoparticles is that the core atoms do not diffuse across the boundary zone between the two clusters and the surface atoms do not diffuse onto the other side of the nanoparticle surface either but of course, if we plot and compare the mean square displacement, MSD, of surface atoms and core atoms, we can see that the surface atoms are the one diffuse more and therefore contribute to the sintering processes. So in that sense, the mechanism here was similar to that of the pure crystalline metal nanoparticles. One thing that was quite interesting was that when we traced the atomic trajectory, we could see that the diffusion was highly localized. What we mean by that is, as we can see here, for example, we are tracing the atoms that are far away from the contact region, and we can see that the atoms remain pretty much where they were while the sintering progresses quite significantly. And this is quite contrasting to the commonly known concept of the high mobility of liquid-like surface atoms and surface diffusion of nanoparticles. Thank you for watching and for more detailed information, please read my poster.